Welcome to example program. In this video, we will see how we can write a C sharp program to find all the devices for a number entered by the user. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna ask the user to enter the number and we will store that value in a variable, let's say number. And uh, whatever the number the user is gonna enter, the numbers one and that number itself are the devices for that number. For example, if the user is gonna enter 10, then the number one and number 10, which is the number itself, are the devices for this number 10. So here, what we do is we take the number entered by the user and we will start checking the devices from two. That's because we already know one is the divisor. So there is no point of checking that. So we will start from two. So what we do is we divide the value stored in the number variable, which is the number entered by the user from two and we will check the reminder value. If we get the reminder as zero, it means that two is the divisor for the number entered by the user. If we get the reminder as a non-zero value, it means two is not the divisor. So if you find out that two is the divisor, then we will display that to the screen. If you find out that two is not the divisor, then we will not display that to the screen. Then we go to the next number and we will do the same thing. We will divide the number entered by the user by three and we will check the reminder value. If you find out that three is the divisor, then we will display that to the screen. Else we will not do anything. We go to the next number. And similarly, we will uh, repeat this process up to certain level. Now the point is, for up to how many numbers we have to check for this. Now let us say the user is gonna enter the number 10. Now the possible range of numbers which can be the divisors for this number 10 are from one to five. We can easily say that the numbers six, seven, eight and nine can't divide this number 10 completely. So they can't be the divisors for this number 10. And here the 10 will uh, divide it, of course, but we already know that. So there's no point of checking for this number itself, whether it will divide it or not. And also we know that one will divide it. So now here, if you look at it, then the possible range of numbers, which can be the divisors are from two to five. And here this five is actually half of this number uh, 10. So the maximum range or maximum value that we have to check for the divisors is actually half of this number. So we will uh, uh, perform this operation until we reach number divided by two value. So now let us see how we can write the C sharp program for this. Uh, here I have already written some code. We are using the system namespace and then uh, I have created my own namespace called as divisor and then we have a class called as program and we have this static void main method inside this class program. Now here what we're gonna do is we can ask the user to enter a natural number. We will store it in a variable and then uh, we will display the divisors for that number. So first let us declare the variables that we need in this program. The first variable that we need is for storing the number entered by the user. So I'm gonna take an integer type variable and I'm gonna call it as number. Now the next thing that we do is we will ask the user to enter the number. So I'm gonna use the console.writeLine method and I'm gonna say enter a natural number. Now after seeing this message, the user is gonna enter a number and we will read that by using console.readLine method. And the problem here is the read line method will return the user input in string form. For example, let's say if the user is gonna enter the number 10, then this read line method will return that in string form, but we want it in integer form. So we will convert the number in string form to integer form. And we can do that by writing convert dot two int 32. And after converting the user input, we will store that in our number variable okay now we have the number for which we can display the divisors so now the next thing that we're going to do is we will uh, use the console.writeLine method and we will display a message to the user saying that the divisors for the 
number and then I'm going to use a placeholder R and then let us provide the value for this placeholder which is the number variables value and then what we do is we will directly display number one and whatever the number that the user is going to enter that number itself as the divisors so we will use the console.writeLine method here and here let us have a couple of placeholders and I'm going to add a space in here and after that we need to provide the value for these placeholders and they are going to be one and the number itself okay now after this we have to find out the other divisors starting from two and for that purpose we will use a for loop so here we will initialize a loop counter variable and I'm going to call it as divisor and I will initialize this variable with a value of two and how long we want to continue this for loop that will depend on divisor contains a value less than or equal to number divided by two and after that we will increment the value of the divisor variable so this for loop will run with divisor variable containing a value from two to number divided by two so here for every iteration of this for loop we will check the value present in the divisor variable is the divisor or not so we will use a if conditional statement and we will check for the reminder value when we divide the number entered by the user by the value present in the divisor variable for that particular iteration so we will write number modulus operator divisor what we get as the reminder value whether we get zero or not if you get zero it means that the value present in the divisor variable is the divisor so we will display that to the screen using the console.writeLine method and here I'm going to use a placeholder and after that I'm going to add a space and then we will provide the value for the placeholder which will be from the divisor variable now if you get a non-zero value uh, as a reminder then we will not do anything we will go to the next number so now we have uh, written the program and the next thing that we do is we will run this enter a natural number i'm going to enter 10 and it says the divisors for the number 10 are 1 10 2 and 5 uh, they are appearing in the new line and here i'm going to change this right line method to right and here also i'm going to change this right line method to right so that all this output can appear in the same line now i'm going to run it one more time this time i'm going to enter 10 and now you guys can see this output is appearing in one line and it says the divisors for number 10 are 1 10 2 and 5 now just in case if you don't want to display the numbers 1 and the number itself like the way that i have done here then you can modify this code so all you have to do is comment out this console.write statement and then you need to change the divisor value initialization so we will change that one to one and the condition here will be less than or equal to number okay uh, after making this modification save your program and run it and now i'm going to enter 10 and it will display 1 2 5 and 10 so in the second run after making the modification the program is actually performing more calculations because it is checking up to number in the previous run it was uh, checking up to number divided by 2 so this is it guys for this video thank you for watching if you like this video then hit the like button if you don't like it then hit the dislike button for the source code of this tutorial visit my website exampleprogram.com and for more tutorials like this do subscribe to the channel thank you for watching